Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana and in this video we are going to take a look at how to pip install local packages. Alright, if you've seen my previous videos then you already know that I'm a big supporter of you know downloading your packages in real format and then installing them if they are of larger size. For example TensorFlow which is literally 300 MB plus package. It is better to download it locally and then use pip install and then the path of that particular file to install that package because it is so much faster and works really well in any case let's just get started all right so first of all we are going to open our chrome window and navigate to pypy well i hope the spelling was correct so pypy.org project flask great you see i have been using flask as an example to promote my flask tutorial series so if you are working with flask series then please check it out on my channel thank you and let's continue all right so let's say if you want to work with another package for example this requests module so requests is at 2.25 dots one all right so let's say you want to install this particular file so now rather than copying this command and in your virtual environment or global environment and doing a pip install command all of this you can just click on download files and from here you have two ways you can download the real file or you can download a compressed file the star.gz well by default uh, the real file is actually the smaller one the small package here so if you want to save a little bit of bandwidth there I would recommend you to install this because ultimately the star.cz is going to be uncompressed and then turn into a real format and then install so it saves a little bit of time if, if you download the real format so let's click on this and currently it's in my downloads folder so show in folder and yes so I had done a previous installation of flask by wheel file so as you can see I have that one and now I have this requests file as well in the similar fashion just to show you i'm going to download this request uh, version number and then tar.gz so it's in the same folder again this one so so let's practice with both of those files so i'm going to open cmd all right so for practice i'm going to create a new folder in my desktop so let's navigate to desktop great and now for this one let's say make directory of pip install all right there we go so let's do a pip install here and now we are in pip install folder and now we are going to create a virtual env because i do not want to mess up the global libraries of python so this is the best way and i have a video on virtual env in the description so please check it out if you don't know how virtual environment works we are going to activate this virtual environment how do we do that env scripts and activate great so this little env at the left corner is going to tell us our environment is currently active great now ideally we would do this pip install and flask or requests or any other module anyways we are not going to do that we are going to you know add the path of this wheel file first so to do that press shift on your keyboard and then right click the wheel file and now we want this option copy as path there we go and now you can simply control v and all of this path and you don't need to edit anything don't even remove the quotes press enter and it did not take much time so how about we just check if we have this request module or not so pip show requests great we have that package and now we are going to uninstall it so yes i do want to uninstall it and great now we're going to practice with this request dot tar file okay so shift and then right click this file and then copy as path click here same thing same process pip install then paste the whole path without removing or worrying about the codes press enter and now see what happens is when you paste a tar url it is going to first let's see what it did let's uh, make it larger so it is processing that file in this line 
currently since we have other libraries installed it is going to come up to here and here this request.read file has been created here and above you can see where we installed this wirebeam file so here you can see that it just started processing this wheel file so yeah it takes a little time with tar.gz file and not with the wheel file so if i were you i would definitely prefer the wheel file all right so that is how you install any libraries or any packages locally all right so i hope this video helped you in some way in installing python packages locally all right so please if it did then please subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye